It's really stuff that I can't get at the dispensary. That's on me, my friend. That's, Thank you, bro. That check is, this out. That's for you. This is how organizers gift and make donations at the High Bazaar in Hamden. It's a weekly private party with a central focus on cannabis. All coming together because of one reason and one reason only, the plants. Founder Joseph Raymond assured us that everything happening in this barn each weekend is legal. No one is buying, no one is selling, and the amounts people are gifted adhere to the state's recreational law passed last year. As long as everyone is within their, you know, within the means of the law, uh, everything is good there. But is everything really good? We wanted the state to weigh in on what goes down each weekend, and we had a tough time getting answers. The Department of Consumer Protection deals with marijuana licensing, so we started there. We were told because none of these exhibitors is licensed, we should contact state police. State police referred us to the chief state's attorney, who suggested we contact Hamden police. And we asked point blank if this is legal. They did not answer directly, instead giving us this statement, quote, the Hamden Police Department advises that the organizers of any marijuana-related events operate within accordance of local, state, and federal laws. Talking with these agencies, it's like Dorothy meeting the scarecrow. Um, you're being pointed in different directions and no one has taken accountability for this. We showed House Republican leader Vincent Candelora these high bizarre videos. They're using loopholes that are in the law to sort of allow for this illicit transactions to occur legally. This certainly does violate the spirit of the law. Um, and I think it comes down to, you know, bad drafting of legislation. Thousands of dollars flow through this barn each weekend, so we wanted to follow the money. We learned some goes toward the armed security, an attorney, and EMTs, all who are on site. We have a legal business. We're, we're a production company at the end of the day. And Raymond says they pay taxes as a production company business that produces these private parties. I love to pay taxes. I want to pay taxes. I pay taxes. But the exhibitors don't pay taxes, and because everything is being gifted, not sold, they're not required to. Candelora doesn't like that. This is the illegal commercialization of marijuana, you know, through a black market. They're not paying taxes. They're not being regulated. They're not paying for licenses. Hamden's Mayor Lauren Garrett is aware of these weekend exhibitions. They've definitely found a way to operate under the current law. And as the city moves towards deciding whether dispensaries will be allowed within its borders, she's given High Bazaar members an opportunity to be heard. I think that they've chosen Hamden because they, they do feel safe here. High Bazaar does more than just produce these weekly events. Each Wednesday, they hold what amounts to a business class for their exhibitors. They lay out a blueprint of what they'll need to do once dispensaries are cleared to open. They say this is their way of making it equitable for all. What we build in the long run will be greater than uh, the piles of money we could have made if we just went this other route. Their exhibitors appreciate it. When people want to move from the High Bazaar to a legitimate business, they are going to offer uh, funding, they're going to offer legal and other sources of support. It's going to be interesting to see what changes once Hamden crafts its cannabis ordinance. It will obviously result in marijuana getting taxed when sold. So we asked the founders what will happen to High Bazaar and the gifting that goes on here. They tell us that High Bazaar is always evolving, but will always be a platform for the cannabis culture, no matter what. And they intend to be here for a long time. Matthew Campbell, Channel Thirteen News. Matthew, a very